people come for jobs now if they're looking for a job and you think scissor maker what? Uh, that seems a bit bizarre you know what I mean I, I didn't think there were any of them left when you get to real nitty gritty you come in here you have a look how a pair of scissors is really made because if you went to a supermarket and bought a pair of scissors for two pound you'd be going back in a month and buying another one for two pound That, that's the difference. You're buying a pair of scissors for life. Whereas a supermarket scissor, you're buying a pair of scissors for a couple of weeks. I didn't just want to be stuck and know one thing. And I learnt assembly. And then one of the guys left and they asked me if I'd learnt grinding. So I went and I learnt hand grinding and that's what I really enjoyed about it. All the guys what learnt me now are all dead. I checked back and I kept in touch. There were no way them guys what taught me were gonna let me loose on my own until they thought it were right. Because that's their job, isn't it? It's their job to tell management, say, this lad's all right and I'll be all right on his own, you'll be fine with him. We've had a lot of new people over the past few years and they're really interested in it, you know what I mean? And hopefully the, the, the skilled lads what are here can learn them new people what's coming and hopefully they can take it forward like people train me and hopefully we took it forward. What happened with Whiteley's were, there were numerous, early 70s, there were numerous scissor companies what weren't as big as Whiteley's, but they were surviving. But slowly and surely, these little companies who employed three, four, five people, they sort of went to war. We kept going, you know, we'd pick their business up. And eventually, they all went to war, and eventually there were only Whiteley's left. find this bizarre. You can't have anybody left-handed. There's nobody out there who's left-handed. Assembly-wise, you'd really struggle. I'm, I'm positive there is left-handed scissor makers, I'm sure there is, or there has been. People what tend to come here, they're all right-handed. I can't, I can't really say that I've known a left-handed person. over 50 different types of scissors. That's how diverse it is. From scissors what uh, green keepers use on a golf course, so they cut grass around all, called golf trimmers, to nail scissors, to tailor shears. That's how diverse it can be. Who'd have thought that you'd need a pair of scissors for trimming around a golf hole, but there's a pair of scissors for that.
The spring is a very important part in scissor, very important. You could put a scissor together without a spring in. Yeah, you could probably get it to cut, but as soon as you put one with a spring in, completely different feel. When you come to nitty gritty final putting together, they might just want slightest tap at point, where then you have to use your hammer. Because you'd, you'll try them and you'll find they, they'd be pulling at point and you know by your eye, then your trained eye, and it'll drag material. Just tap that on a bit, so when you let it, it'll click or it thing, and then you know they're touching from one end to other. When you see a pair of scissors and you know yourself the processes that they've gone through and everything has to be spot on and in the end you're there and the final thing when you're trying them and they slide through some material you think, yeah, that's, that's why Wyclis is what it is today.